Lee Sports Village was the location for another night of boxing provided by Frank Maloney Promotions. Titles never counted out saw Mark Moran take on experienced campaigner Jason Too Smooth Booth for the vacant British Super Bantamweight title. A high quality undercard featured the exciting Kyle Place from Manchester take on Jamie Spence over four rounds. A contender for fight of the night saw the light welterweight put on a ruthless performance, stopping his opponent despite an early barrage of punches. Place now takes his number of wins to five. Blackpool's Jack Arnfield has had an impressive start to his professional career and was taking on Portsmouth's Paul Morby at light middleweight. Morby had been out for 10 months, but Arnfield, fighting out of Bobby Rimmer's gym in Manchester, has been tipped for British title success. He didn't disappoint on the night, scoring a four-round victory despite injury to his hand, as he explained to us afterwards. Yeah, it was good, it was all right. It was a good win. I had him out in the second, but um, I damaged my hand, so it, uh, I had to carry my hand through the fight and just do what I could do without obviously hurting it any further. That's 10 and 10 now, things are looking up. 10 and 0, yeah. Are you still learning in these fights? When, what, you know, at what point do you decide that you want to go up to the next level? Yeah, well, uh, it's not my decision, really. It's Bobby and uh, Steve Wood, they... As and when they think I'm fit and strong enough and well enough and experienced enough to go up a level, that's how they've done it. My last fight I watched um, Delroy Mitchell, he had 11 1 8, so as a, as a winning opponent. And then I boxed um, Paul Morby now tonight, he was, had 7 1 5, he's a winning opponent. So it's just good things for me to keep boxing and going up, up a level. Any fights containing Martin Murray are guaranteed not to be boring, as anybody who watched the prize fighter competition found out. Murray has been impressive in his recent fights and takes a huge following regardless of where he performs. Murray was taken on Kevin Conception, who had a decent record despite recent defeat. Murray proved yet again that he possesses knockout power, having Conception down three times before the referee ended the contest. Murray explained to us how he's still looking to improve on his technique. Yeah, yeah, I am. Obviously, it's um, Kevin Conception's a good lad. And um, I thought I was going to get longer out of it. I was expecting the six rounds and they've got him, what was it, third? Was it yeah, the it beginning long. of the th end of the second, was it? Yeah, so obviously I'm pleased with that, yeah. And uh, all guns blazing again, no disappointing. Your no, fans are Well, my me, me fans are brilliant, they always have been from the start. But um, yeah, when I got him hurt, I mean, I wasn't over impressed with my performance today. I got him uh, hurt and rushed in a bit, do you know what I mean? I've just seen some pictures and um, I'm open a lot. But obviously I can, can improve on that. But um, like I said, not impressed with it, but it, it's a good win. I know there's a lot better to come. A win to win at the end of the day, like you say? Of course it is, yeah. Um, you caught to the body early. Um, obviously the previous fights I've seen you in, you take him out to the head. Is that a new tactic, go to the body first? Or? No, well, obviously working with Oliver Harrison, as good as he is, you know what I mean? We've always. We've always done that. Oliver's always got me going to the head, finishing to the body. Starting at the body, finishing at the head, just mixing up, you know what I mean? And we knew that the body shots were going to do him today. And uh, obviously, uh, after he hit him with that first one, he, he just didn't want to know them for the rest of the round. Flyweight Usman Ahmed will now take on British and Commonwealth champion Chris Edwards after beating Francis Croes. Mark Moran was the favourite going into his title fight after original opponent Matthew Marsh dropped out just three weeks beforehand. Evergreen contender Jason Booth was in the 15th competitive title challenge of his career and was focused as he went to work on the pads. <laughs> Booth already possessed the IBO and Commonwealth title belts. A confident Moran made his way to the ring, but it was Booth who left him in the blocks as his experience shone through. A sickening clash of heads finished the contest in the sixth round, and Moran needed hefty treatment in the dressing room. Stablemate Tony Quigley was mystified by Moran's performance. Yeah, you know, that's not the Mark Moran we know. In all honesty, you know, you watch Mark Moran against Danny Wallace, he was a different fighter. Don't know what happened in the ring. I don't know what's what. I find out, but to me, watching him in the gym, he's been flying. He didn't look like I don't know. He, he looked. He was a bit tense from the start, and looked a bit. I don't know whether he was a bit nervous, but back cut anyway. We finished the fight right to the bone. So you know, it's one of them things. It's at that way where he'll a couple of fights and he's straight back up there. So it's no, 
you know, it's, it's, it isn't a major disaster, but he'll want to come back in his next fight and really put that one behind him.